Would you teach me to pray? Start praying aloud. Let me see how you do it. Blessed Virgin Mary, give me the grace of becoming pregnant. Mm, prayer shouldn't be a list of requests, Esther. It should be an occasion for understanding. While we pray, we reflect in the most elevated way we can so that someone can whisper thoughts into our ears. We call that someone God. Or in the present case, the Madonna of Lourdes. All right. Then let me try again. Blessed Virgin Mary, God does not punish beauty, as a person who is very dear to you once told me. That phrase opened my eyes and it made me understand that perhaps by making a gift of beauty I might perhaps receive some in return. And what if making a gift of my beauty meant receiving the beauty that I so desire? The beauty of a new life, of a little child? Yes. Now you pray. What if it was an intolerable burden to me to donate my beauty to the person I promised to love in sickness and health? What if I wanted to donate my beauty somewhere else? If you give your beauty elsewhere, you will not receive the beauty of a new life, but only sorrow and the unbearable burden of guilt. You know, Esther, Spinoza set us the most daunting challenge of them all. He said, he that loves God does not demand that God should love us in return. I don't understand. I know. But in time you will. Holy Father, the truth is, I know to whom I'd like to donate my beauty. I'd like now, to... Now, Esther, continue to pray in your head. There are certain secrets you must share only with God. 